Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I got a movie uh, review for you guys today, and it's from I saw it on Netflix, and it's called Shark Week. Now, please don't confuse this with the Discovery Channel Shark Week that they have in the summertime, the highest rated uh, week of programming. Now, this is the movie made by the Asylum, and the Asylum is a company making all the shark movies now because for a while they weren't that many shark movies, and then Deep Blue Sea came out, which didn't do very well at the box office, but I loved it. I saw it the day it came out uh, at Tinseltown, and then I think that night or the, or the next night on, I can't remember, it was HBO or Cinemax, uh, a movie called Shark Attack premiered with uh, Lawrence Fishburne, because Deep Blue Sea had Samuel L. Jackson, this one had Lawrence Fishburne in it, and then... New Image was the company that was making all the shark movies for the longest time, you know. And then all of a sudden, uh, well, that Mega Shark versus Mega Octopus came out, and the Asylum did that. And then it seemed like the Asylum took over and are now doing all the shark movies. Whereas uh, New Image did movies like Hesher, which is awesome. And then they're supposed to be doing a Leatherface movie, just called Leatherface coming up. Well, anyways, this is... Like I said, it's about Shark Week, and it's from the same people, the Asylum, who did the Sharknado movies. That's how they became really famous. And they've been doing some really crazy ideas with uh, movies, but Shark Week is no Sharknado. What Shark Week is about is about this guy, bad guy, who kidnaps these people, drugs them. He has his, like, two goons, or two people work for him, go find, like, uh, I think it was ten people drug him, bring him back to his island, and then he's supposed to uh, submit them to all these different tests involving these sharks. Like every day they're supposed to face a different shark, and then if they if they end up killing the shark, or they get a reward. And they, each day they face a different shark leading up to the most menacing shark there is. And, uh... Oh, my God. I can't describe it. It's Well, they find out that, I mean, the part where they're drugging people and bringing them back dirt for to play games of will you live or die, you know. It's reminiscent of Saw. And then this movie has the plot points where the different sharks is similar to Shark Knight. But Shark Knight was awesome. And the Saw movies, for the most part, were really good. This movie's complete nothing complete shit and uh it's weird because i mean from the sun thumbnail it looked like it might be scary no no it's not i mean because it first starts screwing up like 10 seconds in first you'll see the uh it start the movie up and it says the asylum and it says shark week and then it comes on the one of the cheapest looking sets i've ever seen in my life the guy was chained with handcuffs on, and you see the bad guy smoking a cigarette, and there's like this big pool, and it's supposed to be like at his mansion or something like that, and the guy said, the guy gave him like 15 seconds to escape or something like that, and the guy said, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing this, and there was a shark underneath in the water, and uh, he said, you have 15 seconds, and then the guy ended up diving in, and he finally got free of his handcuff. I think the guy threw in a set of keys. Uh, I think. It don't really matter. And then I think the guy got him and he got free of his handcuffs, but it was 4 to 15 seconds were up. And then the guy released this giant shark that was between, behind this cage and came out. And none of everything looked fake. I mean, because the, the pool was so small and the shark was so large. And then the shark was large and then it was human, his size and then it was large again as his size. All the proportions were wrong. The attacks were completely fake and bogus. And there was a part, you know how like they have like a shot and then they reverse it and then they show it again and they reverse it. They had like a thing of him attacking and they just kept reversing the video shot. I mean, this is during the first few minutes. And I knew I was in trouble then. I mean, it's so cheap looking. The sets are so cheap. I mean, the location, there's some location shots that are, that try to make it look like they spent money on it. Uh, but it's just awful. 
And that one, the guy, you know, you see the guy, he got killed by a shark. But, I mean, everything looked fake in the movie. And, it, I mean, and the proportions are all wrong. And there's scenes, and then they, you know, he gets those other people to come out. And there's scenes where they get attacked. And there's scenes where, like, the sharks are really small. And then they're really big. And then their size of the human, or the human's bigger than a shark. All the attacks are don't make any sense. They don't interact with the sharks at all. The CGI is terrible. If you thought the CGI was bad in Sharknado, at least with the Sharknado, at least Sharknado tried to be trashy fun, especially the second one. I know they did the first one and it was still a lot of fun and stuff, but I don't think they knew it was going to be a big hit. The biggest hit in uh, sci-fi's history, except for maybe, even more than SmackDown, maybe, but I'm not sure about that. And, um, they didn't know it was going to be such a hit. Now, the second Sharknado is fantastic. They knew exactly what they were doing. Very tongue-in-cheek humor. They knew the kind, kind of thing they were going for in that. But this one is awful. It just doesn't make any sense. And a lot of it doesn't make any sense. Like, those ten people that kidnap, and they said each time, you know, you go to, and you got to go through this island. And there's a scene where they were walking up this path, and all of a sudden, they vanish. Then they reappear, they vanish, they reappear. It's just bad editing coming up. All the editing in the movie is terrible. And then all of a sudden, a guy makes an earthquake happen. And then they fall through there, and they fall in the water. And they get they end up fighting with a hammerhead shark who looks fake as hell. And then, like a scene where the one guy, he gets the shark. And then one guy, he go leaves out this um, cave up into dry land again. And he said, I'm going to go down and get some shark teeth. So they're going to use, try to use for weapons. He picks up the shark. He doesn't, he doesn't grab anything. And then he takes the knife and goes like this. Tries to, and then he goes down and just pulls up a bunch of teeth like that. It is so fake. Everything in the movie is fake. There was a scene where this guy said, I got this thing. He's going to fight a shark. He jumps off the, he jumps in the water. The CGI looked like, he looked like a little, like say if you have like a cardboard figure. Or like on the Price is Right, when they had like that uh, that mountain climber guy, when he falls off the mountain, it looked just like that. It looked like that. Bloom. Like a card, card, card. When the guy was diving in the shark, it looked like, bloom. fake as hell. And then a girl did the same. It looked so fake. Everything in the movie is so phony. And there's a scene where guys are hitting sharks. He's not even touching them. It's, it's absolutely awful. I mean, as far as bad shark movies go, it's right up there with Blue Demon. The Blue Demon really sucked. I remember seeing it on Movieplex a long time ago. It, they were so lazy in that they didn't fully render the CGI. They had a scene of a shark, and it was still fake. And then they show, like, show the shark, and they show it going back up to San Francisco. And then they keep the CGI shot, and it, San Francisco, it's not even rendered. Not even rendered properly. It looks awful. And the story is awful. And the story in Shark Week is terrible. It's right up there with Blue Demon as being the worst shark movie and also, uh, that DreamWorks uh, computer animated movie, Shark Tale, which I absolutely hated. Now, some people might disagree with me on that, but I didn't like Shark I think I might give Shark Tale like a one, but definitely Shark... Not Shark... No, Shark Tale. I give Shark Tale that uh, computer animated movie with Will Smith and Martin Scorsese. And all that. I might give that a one out of ten. Shark Week gets a zero out of ten. Right up there with Blue Demon gets a zero out of ten. Shark Week sucks. It's on Netflix. If if you guys decide to see it, see it at your own risk. You're going to, I mean, watch. All you got to do is watch like the first five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. Well, let's say the first ten minutes. And it doesn't get any better. It just gets worse. Uh, there was a part where... Uh, there was a shark there, and a guy pushes the girl in the water so he can escape. I kind of laughed at that. And there's a part where uh, this girl and this other girl are fighting, and the girl starts coughing, and the, girl's like, and the other girl's mocking her. I kind of laughed at that. But, I mean, it, the movie sucks. That ain't no redeeming quality. Shark Week sucks. I highly do not recommend this movie. The worst shark movie, right up there with Blue Demon I've ever seen, I give it a 0 out of 10, so until next time, buddy, don't watch Shark, Shark Week, or I'll tell you this, if you want to watch Shark Week, watch like the first 10 minutes, and know that it ain't going to get no better.
It's bad. It's really bad. It sucks so bad. I'm surprised. I mean, because they had the ratings on Netflix. I think it got a star and a half. I'm surprised it got that star and a half. I don't know if they're allowed to rate anything no stars or not like that, but it's a 0 out of 10. A complete waste of time, but I wanted to watch the whole thing. And I did. And I like, and if I'm saying a bad movie sucks, it must really suck because I like trashy movies. Movies that are so bad, they're good. But this movie is so bad, it sucks. You know, because something like the Sharknado movies. I mean, this makes Sharknado movies look like Save Private Ryan and Gone with the Wind all rolled into one. It's really bad. For all the people who bust on Sharknado. At least Sharknado try, knows this. It tries to have fun. This movie plays it really serious. Except for those two little parts I kind of laughed at. But Shark Week sucks. A zero out of ten. So until next time, bye, please. Take care. Legion. Mm. I almost belched there. <laughs>